Hi everyone, HDL Stand Under and welcome to another box opening. Yee! Um, also, excuse the messy hair and no makeup, I just finished work. Um, and I have a doll that is a grail that uh, just arrived. Um, a little bit of context. Um, an Instagram mutual messaged me and uh, said they had a couple dolls that they had for sale. Um, and they're also Australian based and they asked if I'd be interested in any and mentioned having two of these dolls in her collection um, and asked if I'd be interested in the other one um, and I said yes <laughs> because this doll is very exciting to have um, she's also included an extra body that is damaged um, so it's the doll's original body the doll herself is on a different body right now and this one has a little bit of damage at the back of the neck which I'm going to try and fix up um, just because it looks like it's a sewing job and that's kind of what I do. Um, so I have a box with some packing peanuts so let's get stuck in. Oh so many packing peanuts. I'm gonna have so much fun cleaning this up. <laughs> right, there's more packing peanuts inside! Alright, let's. So this is the back of an American Girl box. Whoa! Oh my god, I just saw her face. So I'll start with this body. I know that's odd. Oh, goodness, that's such an easy fix. Um, it looks like all I need to do is find a bit of like a tan bias binding. There's a little bit of a rip there, you see? And a little bit of a rip at the front. I think that's a pretty simple fix. Um, this is a Pleasant Company body. I might end up using this body for my Pleasant Company Samantha because the limbs are so much tighter and it's cleaner. My Pleasant Company cement that came with quite a few stains. Um, okay. Oh, this stationery is so cute. So it says, thank you for purchasing this lovely, this doll's number from me. I've included her um, Original Pleasant Company underwear plus two duplicate American Girl brand tops that I had. Thank you again. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I see pink. I love pink. Okay. So these are the duplicate. These are the underwear. They're Pleasant Company and polka dotty, and the elastic is still stretchy. Oh, this is cute. This is a pink and purple top. My doll, uh, Mona, who is 122, is gonna look so cute in this. Oh, an AG Place Chicago shirt, but it's like the long t-shirt. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know if you want me saying your um, actual name on here, but I will say your username. Uh, this is by Moon in Major on Instagram, who is, like, I'm just so grateful that I had someone who watched my channel reach out to me about this um, and this doll was a really good price for what number she is um, and the condition she's in as well like I'm just really grateful that there is a community out there that is willing to like chat to people and I've never had like someone go and give me a doll like this so let's see Oh my goodness. My camera's about to die. This is my number four. What I'm going to do is my camera's dying and people have just arrived at my house. So I'm going to show her off in the next clip. Um, and just have a free chat about her off camera. <laughs>
the next day and if you hear any noises from outside or if I'm having to yell almost um, it's because Western Australia has decided to actually rain yay <laughs> it's been so hot and dry and it's been autumn slash fall for my American viewers and it's been so hot and it's finally like sweater and coat weather and I'm cozy maybe a little too cozy for the weather but wishful thinking so sorry I had to cut off so quickly yesterday's video which is the first clip of this video um, I had some friends over and my package arrived and I was really hoping I could open it and show you it to you before they arrived but they arrived and it's kind of weird filming with people in the house <laughs> I'm okay if it's just my partner but I feel weird if I'm like closing off my room if other people are in the house like don't come in it's just for me and the people behind the camera so I'm gonna show you my new just like you number four who you saw very briefly <laughs> um, I won't keep you waiting anymore this is she she's probably getting a little oversaturated because of the camera and the lighting but as I said it's raining now so there's no natural light this is just overhead lighting a desk lamp and a really mediocre ring light from Kmart <laughs> So this is my new doll. I'll hop out so you can see. She has the most beautifully soft wig. I've heard other people talk about how soft a Just Like You number four wig is. And I really see it. It's so silky. She's a little dry at the ends, but she's also a pleasant company doll. So I have no complaints. And she does have one part of her bangs that kind of wants to stick up. But you know, I have a part of my bangs that wants to stick up. And I also have some roots that you're gonna ignore. <laughs> now, this doll is so incredibly beautiful. I'm so grateful to Moon and Major for letting me buy her. Like, and for reaching out as well. It still doesn't feel real that I have a viewer so kind and like thoughtful that they would like tell me if they had a doll I was after. Ah. Like the fact that I have someone who watched my video and let me know about this doll that they had is so like crazy to think like I came back on AGIG and I'm now posting semi-regularly and I've come on and off AGIG for the last 10 years I bought Raven in 2014 I started my YouTube in 2015 no was it 2014 around then 2015 2014 so it's been about 10 years of me making American Girl content like and the fact that in those 10 years I've had such wonderful people come in and out of my life through American Girl and now I have people who have like watched my videos and actively thought about me is so special like I in previously had been getting larger view counts than I am now because I was creating content when AG, AG2 was like in its height, Aspen Heights was being released, um, and I was a teenager making doll videos. And now, as an adult, the like thoughtfulness of the community and how close knit it is, especially here on YouTube, is so special. Like every time I get a comment from someone and I'm like, oh, I watch your videos, it feels like a group of friends rather than your typical like social media hierarchy. Not that it did feel like that originally, but it doesn't feel like it's unreachable to talk to other people who make doll videos. Like everyone's really approachable and kind. And this has been a total rant for an opening video, like a five minute long rant, but I think it's incredibly like heartwarming for me, especially being an Australian collector and you can feel a little cut off from the rest of AG Troop and AGIG because you can't attend in-person meetups. It's very rare that you'll have someone in your state who you can meet in person and take doll photos with. Like, and shipping's expensive and time zones are really hard. Like it's hard to keep a conversation online because you're awake and asleep at completely opposite times. But I don't know, it's felt really like warm and like comforting on AGIG recently, especially AGTube as well. Um, yeah, that's my little rant about how much I love this community. Um, 
And I think this doll really represents that to me. Like, I think what's going to make her even more special, other than the fact that she's a Just Like You number four, um, but the fact that she really represents community for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a, a long-winded rant that didn't need to be that long-winded. Back to the pretty doll. <laughs> so this is she. She is a pleasant company, just like you number four. But I think she's not as squishy as my Samantha, who is pleasant company. Now my Samantha's not white body, um, but I think this doll has the brown eyelashes. So I'm not a person who like dates American Girl dolls. I can't tell you when she was made. Um, so any of my big brained people in the comments, um, see if you can date her for me. She is stamped Pleasant Company uh, and she has soft brown eyelashes and pie bangs. This is she. And she's wearing this shirt that I've had for a while, the like American Girl Pleasant Company t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt and a pair of shorts and some old Truly Me Meat shoes. She's so cute. <laughs> um, and I should probably tell you her name. So, uh, me and my partner, who I customised a doll to look like, uh, selfless promo, go check out the video where I cut a doll wig to look like my partner's hair. Um, but we have been playing through his favourite video game series recently. I'm someone who really enjoys video games, I don't play a lot of them, but I like watching other people play games, and I like, like, I do enjoy playing games, I just don't have a lot of time for it. Um, but he'd been saying on and on about how great the series was and I decided that I'd like to give it a go. So we've played through one and a half games of the series so far um, and it's the Persona series um, and it's kind of like it's similar to Pokemon in terms of how it plays so you've got like weak types, super effective types um, and it's like turn-based and there's combat but the story is really really good um, and there's such great characters that you really grow attached to and one of my recent doll purchases my truly me number 122 Mona is named after Persona 5 um, which is the first game I played even though it's the most recent game to come out um, she's named after Mona who is a little kitty cat and very cute <laughs> um, but this doll I'm gonna sneeze again okay I'm not going to sneeze ah oh, ghost sneeze um, so this doll is named after a character from the Persona series and I can't tell you too much about this character because it's so many spoilers and technically like if I tell you anything about this character's name it's spoilers. So I'll just tell you her name and tell you to go play Persona 5 Royal because it was great. <laughs> um, this character's name is Sumire. Um, it's a Japanese name meaning Violet um, because Sumire, this doll, um, in my doll story, um, her family are Australian, um, but her parents um, immigrated to Australia. So she is a Japanese Australian, um, first generation of her family to be born in Australia. But uh, I think the name Sumire really suits her. Um, I was tossing up between the name Sumire and another name from the Persona series, Rize, but I think Sumire suits her better. Um, and the character Samire, who I can't talk to you very much about, is one of my favourites in Persona 5 Royal. Like, a lot. <laughs> so this is Samire, and she is so stinking cute. Um, her Pleasant Company body did make it kind of hard to fit clothes on her. She already went through a pair of shorts that didn't fit before I put this pair of shorts on her. And later on I do plan on filming a video of all my dolls, like, personal style, and personality and what they study and blah 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 in terms of like their story um, and I'm thinking of doing it one doll at a time and making a playlist on my channel so do let me know if that's something you're interested but something I have done is made a Pinterest board for each of my dolls and I would like scroll through the Pinterest board and maybe voice over it as well and Samira's Pinterest board is one of my favorites <laughs> I really 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 like her Pinterest board it's so cute um, and her sense of style is kind of really like layered and unique and boxy so this is a great outfit for her and the American Girl Play Chicago shirt that Moon and Major included in my package I think is going to be great so is that a cat meowing at me? 
hope you can hear that. Nini? Do you want to come have a sit? See if you can make a bridge. Hello. Cat break. <laughs> There's a cat currently trying to get on the lap. She's too shy to go on the lap. All right, I should end this video so that I can edit this video and edit the video that I've already filmed that I'm yet to upload. So you'll see this video after I've announced Samire on my Instagram. So sorry people from uh, YouTube who had to wait so long for this video. I have another one I need to upload first. <laughs> um, this has been a bit of a rambly one and I do have to go to work soon. Hence why I'm kind of dressed up for the day. Have a awesome rest of your day and I hope that you are as lucky in your American Girl journey as I have been in terms of getting this beautiful girl at a really great price from someone I now consider like a really great friend because of what she has done for me. Um, so thank you Maria Major again for allowing me this opportunity um, and this doll is really representative of all those feelings I have towards the community at the moment and how wonderful it feels apart that it feels to be to be a part of this community. Especially being in it for so long and being in and out. So thanks for sticking around for the rambles. If you've gotten to this point of the video, um, do you have a just like you before in your collection? Is she a grail for you? Have you played the Persona series? If you have, DM me on Instagram so we can chat about it. I'm up to I'm playing them backwards, so I'm up to Persona 4 at the moment, and I have one more level to go. So let's chat about it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye from Samiro. See ya! <laughs>